Now, look what we have found, a terrapin out of the water. Now, this looks like a serrated um, serrated back terrapin. You can see those, actually, you can see the serrations on the back, um, right at the back of the carapace, at the, the right, um, there we go, you can just see those curves. You can see it clearly, serrated back terrapin. And there it goes. Now, it's probably moving around because it would have come... Sorry, my hat's in the way. <laughs> sorry. Um, hat. Yeah, it's a raggedy hat. That <laughs> um, so I think what's happened is um, this uh, terrapin would have moved from one of the little pans, maybe heading to another one. And on a cool day like today, where there's a bit of drizzle, it's, an I it's ideal conditions for it to move around. Now, we don't often see terrapins out the water, so this is quite quite interesting and look at that following the drainage line over here here we go look at that that's very cool it's quite a big one that's about as big as they get maybe a little bit bigger oh that's really interesting so because of this drizzle that we've picked up here you can see these terrapins now some of you might be asking right well what is the difference between a tortoise and a terrapin so the carapace of the terrapin is slightly softer than that of the tortoise and a bit flatter you can see that also the terrapin lives in water um, even though this one's out of water at the moment the terrapins live in water the tortoises live on land and um, and also the terrapins, where the tortoises are able to pull their necks or their heads straight back in under their carapace for safety into their shell, these terrapins actually move their necks to the side and push their head into the side to cover it up. So they don't pull it straight back in. So this is basically a freshwater turtle. That's what a terrapin is, essentially. <laughs> Rachel, you say that these terrapins remind you of grumpy old men and you love them. Oh. <laughs> uh, Rachel, now we can't say that on Father's Day. Surely we can't. Happy Father's Day again to everybody, um, wherever you are around the world. You know it is Father's Day, so hope you're celebrating and spoiling your dads. Very interesting little creatures, these terrapins. And you can, if you listen carefully, listen to the rain on our roof. Francis from Israel, you say he's a long way home. Now, Francis, is that, are you a long way from home or is the terrapin? <laughs> I'm just joking. You're right, Francis. He is, he is a long way from home. I wonder, but it just shows you they do move around a lot. Oh, sorry, Alice, if you could just repeat Tanya from Australia's question. Um, tell me what was in the rain? Oh, Tanya from Australia, you asked what does juma smell like in the rain now now again you've you you asking me these questions that james likes to answer because his descriptions of the smell are a lot better than than mine and i always <laughs> people always tease me about my descriptions because they're not very good now um the smell of juma at the moment in this rain now is there's that wonderful word called petrichor now petrichor is the smell of rain on the earth when it hits the earth you know that very fresh sandy that's fresh soil smell the moisture in the air that's called petrichor now there is a bit of that at the moment um, and also what's nice is it settled all the dust so we don't have that real um, quite or a lot of dust at the moment so this little bit of drizzle just helps some of the dust settle which is great <laughs> 